for your game plan. Alright, and now with the really try hard stuff, it's bad for us to take a look at some more immediately applicable concepts. Let's jump over to the Nazo Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. During the game, he managed to push out the one he made and then rotate with the floor. Afterwards, he recalls and discusses not what he's doing well, but rather what we are doing more than Mistakes. One, she went to Dragon when she wasn't really mm -hmm. Two, still give up with my It's crazy it's how we cancel her mm -hmm. if I can catch up to her. I'm about to be a whole TikToker. I'm going to pretend I'm not walking up, which might be Oops. your sick thing. Yeah, Yo, what if I just get the uh, bonus? What's the spin of world right now? I don't even know. Now all I have to do is not die yeah. to this obvious Diego vein of my life. Alright, we have a few different points here, so let's break them down first. Before the roam, we initially discussed mm -hmm. if you can kill Hector's setup. The mistake he is referencing is Oriana leaving mid to go help out her What the fuck? Say, how was your mouse? How was your mouse? You were here. You were here. What the fuck? How the fuck you end up in Mars? All this does is give Pryo to a Mouse heart, which should never ever happen. I get over. You right behind me. You're not always going to have a Pryo, but losing it for a worthless reason like that is definitely a huge mistake. Priority is only to be way too effective. Random roams, regardless of how obvious they are, have a high chance for success simply because side laners are completely blind, regardless of the elo you're playing at. For the second part, it doesn't because, as he said, it gives a free roam timer as she bases. Gets to push another wave. Mm -hmm. What I get? Back in time to catch the wave, but Hector would have had priority and could roll his second time for free, as he said. Why I'll meet you on a pro end. Without all, if he were a Yana, for example, then Oriana should have valued facing on the prior wave, so that she doesn't. Yeah, you might want to start that shit over, cause I'm sad. The actual mistake from Oriana though is being a player. All high elo players have the usually good habit of. As as possible. Oh, look at my shot. They watch their opponents to see if they're coming to stop them, and when they don't, they continue recalling in a spot that's very easy to cancel. Really make a life of this shit. I'm not walking up, which might fade her into thinking I'm not walking up. At the you mean who crying with Johnny? It's a very easy mind game that is super effective at the higher <laughs> <of> the line. <laughs> you just wait for a few seconds and then walk up to cancel. He did it for Oriana three times this game until she learned her lesson. The lesson for us here is that greedy recalls are very good, and the reason all high elo players do it. But if there's no need, yo, I'm definitely need, buying a jump shot emo because I make it. That's really like a like a, a, a blessing. Instead of risking it in the middle of the lane with the wave so far away, there's no reason for her to get and I'm getting my escalator back. All disrespect. With her recall ruined, getting a guaranteed lead over Oriana, I go as far as I could. If I hit that three point line, I am bricking. You know what most no is? I upgrade the mid range. I ain't upgrade three point lines because I ain't shooting them yet. Uh, 60, 50 something. 60. Round 60. 60. It was still an advantage earned by punishing Oriana's mistakes. Of course, his advantage is to just check it out. I pressed the wrong and thing. That's tough. Five juicy plays all gets taken for free. Thankfully, this kind of stuff tends to get edited out of the videos. The third point we'll be discussing is the opinion he holds, which he feels quite strongly about. Alright, let's see. I have a 63 mid range. So I mean, I can shoot. We're not fully on board with the green this just yet, but the idea has definitely been getting more and more traction lately among some analysts. The concept is that as the game gets more refined, players don't really need to to avoid mid-game side lane games by using your brain, and important fights don't really take place around turrets, it should be happening near the objectives being fought over. There's way more reasons to it, but that's the gist. So, some players believe that the only value they have is literally just how much gold they give you. Current plates aren't down yet, so I don't want to completely concede them in. If they were down, I might just give them turret, because I don't really care about turrets. 
Now that you can't really get any plates, maybe we can still look. Turret plates are obviously something that you should consider when choosing to concede a turret as they actually give gold. But now that they're about to go down, he completely Bye -bye. changes his game plan and goes to join the top lane fight. Don't get on for a while. Rotating up here, manages to get here in time to 